All of our cells contain the same genes, but in a skin cell, only the genes that make skin proteins are turned on. The active genes are always in the unwound, open areas of the chromosome. All the other genes that would make a liver, a heart or an embryonic cell are turned off. They are tightly wrapped up and locked away. The remarkable thing that Shinya Yamanaka did was to question whether a cell had to stay differentiated. Might it be possible to make an already specialised cell turn back into an embryonic stem cell in the laboratory? He wondered if the same proteins that keep embryonic stem cells pluripotent might be able to reprogram the specialised identity of a differentiated cell. He started with a list of over 100 possibles. He didn't know if they operated alone or in combination, which would mean over a million possible variations. Using an off-the-shelf computer programme, Shinya Yamanaka was able to distinguish the 24 most likely candidates. It took years of work. The next step was to narrow down factors from 24 factors into uh, whatever uh, required. And we found that four out of the 24 factors were essential. He took a combination of four factors that normally only act together in the embryonic stem cell and inserted them into a skin cell. In a process we don't fully understand, the chromosomes began to unwind. Shinya's factors could now attach to the genes which make embryonic stem cell proteins. The proteins, called OCT4, SOX2, KLF4 and CMYK, overwhelmed the competing message from the skin genes fooling the cell into thinking it's in an embryonic environment. As these reprogrammed cells replicate, they become more and more like embryonic stem cells, until eventually they are indistinguishable. From this state, it can now be used to produce any cell in the body.